what's going on today YouTube welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel and this week's bike quick talks so what are we talking about today today we're going to talk about the difference between training wheels and a balance bike and which one you should get your kid but before we get into today's video if you are new to my channel make sure you head down below hit that subscribe button for me if you already are subscribed make sure that bell icon right next to that is checked off that way you get notified every time I upload so you don't miss any of these awesome bike quick talks, reviews, tutorials, and of course rides we do on this channel because it's all sorts of fun cycling stuff. So, on to today's video, balance bike versus training wheels. What is the difference and which one should you start your kid out on? Well, we'll go ahead and we'll start with training wheels because those have been around for forever and I think everybody, every single one of you knows what training wheels are. Training wheels essentially hook onto the back wheel of the bike, onto the rear axle. They're going to come right here and essentially go to the ground to help the kid balance while they're on the bike. Therefore, they can learn how to pedal. They're very simple, very simple way to get your kid out, at least out on a bike and learn how to pedal. Now there are downfalls to training wheels. Of course, you do have two extra little wheels hanging off the side. So if they go, if you're like me, and you like go mountain bike and you're taking kid on like kind of dirt trails, possible they're gonna get high centered and they're gonna have the rear wheel sticking in the air and they're not really be able to pedal anywhere. They're gonna be hanging there. That's a possibility. Other thing with training wheels is it's possible to have them get bent and therefore your kid won't have the balance that they're used to. They might just fall over and the thing will bend and they'll fall on the ground, which of course isn't a great thing either. The nice thing about training wheels is it teaches them how to use the pedals and get the pedal movement down. Therefore, they can propel themselves along you know, with their own force. Now you go on to something like a balance bike. What is a balance bike? Essentially a balance bike, been around for a long time. I said they started to hit popularity what 10 15 years ago i'd say they started to hit popularity a lot more balance bikes they essentially are a bike that has no pedals no chain no gear on the back it's essentially a wheel wheel frame and handlebars and that's it so what's the deal with those they obviously can't pedal it so how do they keep going balance bike the deal is it pretty much teaches the kid how to balance on a bike first and then they can go on and get on an actual bike i already have that balancing component down and be able to learn how to pedal on the bike and be able to just get going off at that point. So that's kind of your plus there. Balance bike is very, 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 very simplistic. There's not much to them. There's nothing to break, nothing to bend. However, the kid is pushing themselves along. Of course, kids have tons of energy, so that's totally fine, right? They have tons of energy to push themselves along while you're riding your bike. Now, which one is the best one for your kid? Well, you're probably gonna hear both ways. Most people are gonna say training wheels are the best just because they grew up with training wheels. And that's how they learned how to ride a bike, training wheels. And that's a good thing. You know, training wheels, they're a great, great option. Especially if they're even a little bit older kid, getting into biking, right around like a 20 inch wheel size. You know, that training wheels, this is gonna be an option. They don't really make a balanced bike that big. That would, that would work for them. Training wheels would be a great option. Now, if you have a kid who's just starting, who's a little younger, maybe around my daughter's age, around two, two and a half, you know, balanced bike might be a great option for you. Really, it just helps them get the balance down. Now, are they going to be getting tired quicker? Possible. Are they gonna, you're going to need to buy them another bike because they're going to need to have a pedal, right? Correct. So there's pluses and minuses to each. Which one will be best for your situation? Well, it's really just going to depend on you and how you want your kid to learn. They will learn perfectly fine either way. I haven't seen anything of kids learning one way better than the other. They're going to learn how to ride a bike either way, whichever way you choose. I decided to go with training wheels for my daughter just because that's the way we found them much cheaper, much more affordable. Goodwill sells bikes with training wheels all day long. Of course, my recommendation, head over down to your local Walmart big box store. They're going to have bikes out there to try. Have your kid try a balanced bike, have your kid on a regular bike. It's really just going to be whatever they feel comfortable on, whatever they can scoot, scoot along and get themselves going on the best. That's going to be your option. Otherwise, if you get a hand-me-down bike with some training wheels on it, go for it. Kids going to enjoy the feel of cycling either way. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below. I love chatting with you guys. I love answering any questions you guys have. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.